In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a domino run for a set of dominoes that follow a curved path. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. The front view looks down the y-axis. I'm dragging to make the properties window wider and click the object button. Set the x scale to 0.4, the z scale to 2, and the z location to 2, and we have the basic domino shape. I'm just going to change the color of the domino. To set up the material, I'm going to use the cycles render. Click the material button, name the material domino, click the use nodes button, click the color box. And I'm going to set the red, green, and blue values to 0 0.02. And that will make a dark grey. Change the shading to material. In the outliner window, click the eye icon to hide the cube. Change the view from perspective to orthogonal. Change the view to the top view. Add curve bezier. Go into edit mode, zoom in with the mouse wheel, select a vertex, turn snap to grid on, grab the tip of the red arrow and move that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 blocks from the center. Select the other vertex, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Zoom back with the mouse wheel, select the handle, press G to grab, and move the handle so that it is 4 grid squares from centre, 8 grid squares up. Select the other handle, take snap to grid off, and using the tip of the red arrow, move it 4 grid squares from centre, and the tip of the green arrow to move it 8 grid squares down. Click the object data button. I'm going to double the resolution to 24 to give us a nice smooth curve. In the outliner window, click the eye icon to unhide the cube. Select the cube, click the constraints button, click the add constraint button and add the follow path constraint. Set the target to the Bezier curve, tick follow curve and change the axis to point along to X. If I change to local coordinates, the domino points along the curve in the X direction. To duplicate the domino, I'm going to use duplicate linked, alt and D, so I don't duplicate the mesh data each time. Hold down the alt key, press D and enter. Set the offset for the duplicate. Now I find a value between minus 10 and minus 15 gave a nice distance between the dominoes. So I'm going to go for minus 12. Alt, D, and Enter to duplicate. And for each duplicate, we have to add 12 onto the offset. So that will become 24. I've jumped ahead to add the last domino that will fit on the path. Alt, D, and Enter to duplicate. And we need to add 12 to the offset, which will make minus 96. The problem with this method is that the follow path constraint is designed for making animations of objects following a path. I only know two methods to remove the constraint and keep the relative positions of the dominoes. The heavy handed way would be to select all the dominoes and click join and then go into edit mode and separate them. The more subtle approach but more long winded is to go into the object menu, animation and bake action. Now here we have a clear constraints option. This will bake the animation to keyframes and if we set the end keyframe to one we'll get one keyframe. Now there's an only selected tick box and it would be nice to untick this and the constraint be removed from all the other dominoes but it doesn't work. And if I select all the dominoes and try and apply the bake action to the set Again, only the first domino is affected. Clicking OK, I need to remove the keyframes. 
but I have to repeat the process for every domino. The process can be slightly speeded up using the search facility. Press the space bar, type in BA, and that's enough to pick up bake action. Set the end frame to 1 and clear constraints and OK. And removing the keyframes, the shortcut key is Alt and I. Now when I press the spacebar, we go straight to bake action. End frame 1, clear constraints, OK. Alt and I. I've jumped ahead to where all the dominoes have had the constraint removed. In the select menu, select all by type mesh. Scroll down and open up the Rigid Body Tools panel. Scroll down and click Add Active. Add Mesh Plane. Press S to scale followed by 10 and Enter. And click Add Passive. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Select the first domino and use the tip of the red arrow to move it forward slightly. Press R to rotate followed by Y and Y again and tilt the domino forward. Click play. I'm going to end the tutorial there. I'll put the finished file for you to download and look at at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.